Hello there, I'm Nick Payne and welcome to this quick update slash vlog. Um, got some chocolate to eat, well, soy chocolate to eat. Um, so I might be having snack and nuts throughout the thing. Won't be too long though. Mmm, good stuff. If you're allergic to milk products, I highly recommend soy chocolate. First of all, um, I last time I checked my YouTube channel, I had over 40 subscribers. I think it's 41 at the time of recording. Might be 42. Hang on, just get some water. To wash this down. Could be 40, well, 41 was the last time I checked. But it could be 42 by now, but I'm not so sure. So I was just going to say thank you to everyone for and um, all those subscribers um, and wow uh, well, it's not quite a billion okay not everyone, no one's got a billion at least I don't think anyone has it's not a million it's not even a hundred um, but it's nice um, I'm hoping to get to fifty and when I do I'm, I'll make a special fifty subscriber video um, so. Basically, what I want you guys to do, the viewers, is to comment below in the video, or if you, or go on to the discussion page on my channel and write something, um, write a, op, write something that you would like me to do for a fiftieth, um, su sorry, fifty subscriber video. It could be anything. It could be a review, list, fan film, demonstration something. I'll pick the mo either the most popular or the best sounding. I might even do a coll a collection of stuff. It could be pretty much anything. Um, whatever you want. As long as it's in the boundaries. Remember, I am still under 18. By one year, but still. I'm still not quite an adult. So, nothing too adult. Um, so, suitable for 17. Um, and no, I haven't got a driving license yet. I'm not even sure if I want to get one. Um, anyway, uh, next update is that I have the 12th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver, which I've just recorded a o opening of. I might have to do some cuts and there might be a small gag reel at the end, but um, yeah, it looks cool, doesn't it? Demonstration batteries, apparent, according to the back, and so I might have to get some proper batteries before proper use, but yeah, I'm hoping to have this as well as my 12th Doctor first Sonic Screwdriver featuring future fan films, um, which I think I got that either at the end, no, I think I got it, bef I think I got it this time last year, and then, because uh, then I remember at the end of Hellbent saying, I just got the last Sonic 12th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver, my 11th Doctor one was damaged, and I used the one from the, um, let, let, hang on. Oh, hang on, that's the mic set. Um, wrong thing. Uh, there was kind of a sonic screwdriver set that you, including the eleventh Doctor's one, that you could um, take parts of and then put them together. It wasn't, so it wasn't eh, like the at released eleventh Doctor sonic screwdriver or any of the other ones. It was you just had one single um, battery pack, and so you can do the light and sound. It just, um, and then you just put the stuff, to, and then you just made the screwdriver, I think. If I go and have a look, stay there, and it's, I've got two of these actually. Okay, it's this. Personalise your sonic, hang on, deep. can you see it? Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Personalise your sonic screwdriver set kit set. This was the sonic screwdriver, it was this one or the one from the other set that I used for the 11th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver in my Earth Agents movie. I think it was the other box. Yeah, this one. Sorry, this is from box two. Or one, really, I should say. This is box one, and you've got these other two. And I think there was another Sonic Screwdriver released later that you could also use as part of this, so... So yeah, it was that. That was the Sonic... The one from the second box that shows you was the 11th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver I used in the fan film, in Earth Agents. 
then I use then I've got the new one, proper one. I don't know if I've used that in a video yet, but I've got the actual proper sonic screwdriver. I don't know if that's still got demonstration batteries in it. This one does. Ooh! Did you catch that? Ooh! Nice. Nice. Ah, now I found out how to do the other two bits. I I got I didn't know how to do it, but I think you have to go to the side a little. Oh, that's number two. That's one. Oh well. I like how it's a mixture of both the previous two Sonic screwdrivers. It does look like the 2005 one with its blue stuff, but also the 2010 one with the gold stuff, and then with the light, it's a bit of both. Blue for the 2010 and green for the 20, sorry, 2005 and green for the 2010. It's also got some silver stuff from the classic and TV movies, and the TV movie um, styles. And a bit of black. Speaking of the classic Sonics, I have got the third Doctor Sonics, which you was in the class fan film, the first, the class fan films. I've also got the River Song Sonic as well, so these could be used in future fan films. So I've got the tenth one, tenth Doctor's one from End of Time. I had another, well, no, an older one, but it was damaged. Same with the eleventh, eleventh one as well. That was damaged as well, but I've got a twelfth Doctor Mark One, and this is twelfth Doctor Mark Two. Also got River Song Sonic with red lighting. You can't have the this one doesn't have the option to go between blue and red, and I, I don't know if the re-release, well, the first re-release one, had the first River Song release, did have the option to go to have blue or red, but I don't know if the re-released ones have, at least this, the re-released one with the, as part of the classic Sonic range, the red one can't go to blue. So I've got River Sonic's red, Sonic screwdriver with red setting. Um, yeah, those are my five Sonic screwdrivers. Six, seven if you count the two damaged ones and the laser screwdriver. That's damaged as well. Um, yeah. I'm hoping to use this quite a bit. It's a bigger Sonic than the other one. It's, well, he's definitely in the 11th, 10th Doctor Sonic. The 9th and 10th Doctors. I think when 9 got its own release later on, it had a kind of more bluier. Um, Centre bit, whilst 11 was, sorry, 10 was more white. On the figurine set, I think it's a bit smaller, or at least the bit that comes out to the middle is a bit smaller than on 10s. 10s is a bit longer and also a bit skinnier, I think, yeah. Um, anyway, uh, next bit. Um, I will be doing a, excuse me. Review of the Doctor Who Series 9 Steelbook Blu-ray as soon as I've seen all the series again. I'm going to re-watch the series as well as some of the, some if not most of the extras. Then I'll do a video on the set. Similarly, I will do the same with Spectre's Steelbook Limited Edition Blu-ray. Which, unlike the Doctor Who Series 9 one, is still available. It's, you can on Amazon. If you can find it on Amazon. Doctor Who Series Nine has been out. For, even when when it does come up, it's quite expensive, or it, it, or otherwise it's out of stock. And this has been for a while. But my one was apparently in the cupboard for a few months, and closer towards my birthday, I was thinking, oh, I might have to get this standard set. And ask for the standard set as this is either out of stock or is really too pricey. But apparently, it's been hiding in the cupboard for a few months in the cupboard for a few months before my birthday two weeks ago. Was it two weeks ago? Yeah, it's two weeks ago. Yesterday. Wow, 15 days. Scary, huh? And 17 and 15 days. <laughs> That's a thought. That scares you. Uh -huh. Next thing, final major project, college. College work, it is up, as you may have seen last Friday. It is up, and um, not yet, not Friday has just gone the one before 27th of May. This was then followed by a stop motion competition thingy and uh, featuring Doctor Who figures as characters, not necessarily themselves, and then it was then 
followed by a presenting the pitch for no yes presenting the pitch for my FMP. Um, net coming up um, soon. I might have the question. I'm not sure about the question and answering thing. So, um, if we'll be getting that like the, at the end of the of our showing, if we were questioned and answered about that, I'm not sure if we're getting those or if they're just going to the examiner or something. Um, but what is coming is a blooper reel. So um, there's a lot of bloopers, alternative takes, and other test shots and other kind of stuff. Full complete full takes and other stuff so you'll get there, there's lots of blue you'll get quite a lot of footage that was not used or only partly used in stuff in the film as well as the bloopers and one of my particular favorite ones is what out of 200 out of all 201 shots my particular favorite blooper is the one shot excuse me that was tote that would never be part of the movie that was complete the, the film that was completely for itself. It was. It's a blooper. It's a blooper that was just fun on set or location, I should say, fun on location. Um, and this, is, I'll point this out to you um, um, now. I might even do it in the video itself with some text. Uh, the the scene is um, Daniel Middleton and Jacqueline Hulbert dancing and singing "Let's Go Fly a Kite" from Mary Poppins, and Ollie is filming and. And he joins in, and I'm just in the background trying to work out what shot to do next. And I, okay, I think I got it. So I know which shot I'm doing to do. In fact, actually, I think I did talk about. Actually, I did write this up on the thing. Yeah. So when it comes up, you'll know. You'll know which one it is. If if you see this, you'll know which scene this is. It's about mm, around halfway through the middle. It's right. It, this is in order of when the the bloopers and other shots um, video is in order of when they were filmed so for example you'll get the first alternative take of the moral message at the start and at the end there will be um what was at the end then an imp a shot that would be later improv that we retook to with some improvisation that was kept in the film i liked the improvised things particularly from ollie there so so much we we kept it in the film. We kept the improvised stuff because it was much better. And there was and there was a thing that we that wasn't in the original script that I thought that could be an idea to use in the film that was actually cut that we actually eventually cut because we couldn't get it done properly um, because it wasn't in the because it wasn't in the original script. We didn't decide just let's not worry about having this. We'll use it. I'll I'll use the idea for something else. And that was this is a there are three takes of this. It is Dan grabbing the washing line um, things and being electrocuted. Um, but we couldn't get the take right out of the three times we shot it. So I thought, as this wasn't in the script, let's just leave it. I'll use the idea at another point and do it the way I wanted, because I wanted him to grab it, ah, fall to the ground, maybe injured, maybe get back, back up, get back up again. Um, never once did he fall to the ground, so. Yeah, let's just leave it, and I'll use it for something else. So uh, I'll use it in another video, um, maybe in one of the Earth Agents episodes. Um, speaking of which, Earth Agents. Next topic. Oh, before I move on to Earth Agents, another extra, another um, effects of wood related thing is a, another video that there's about out of when I did the shot when I did the bloopers and other takes thing. I also. I decided to take two, sh four shots out. No, that's six. Yeah, six shots not to in be included in the thing. No, yeah, it was six. Have six shots not to include. And this were multi-angle sequences. If you've got either the remembrance of, got either one of the two remembrance of the Daleks DVDs. That's the original or the special edition. There's a multi. They have an extra called multi-angle sequence. Um, I remember it's the Dice Doctor Who story. If you got the original release or the special edition release, you'll both versions, uh, both releases have this extra uh, multi-angle sequences. They're of they have a multi-angle sequence of Ace jumping through the glass window in episode two, and the Dalek gate being blown up by the Imperial we special weapons Dalek in episode four. And they've got multi-angles. They'll have one angle on one bit, and then one angle on another. 
on one side of the set and one on a camera on the other side, on another part of the set so they can catch the action. And and then the same uh, so that was at so in the eighth one through the window one you'll have her in the classroom and then go through the window and then on the other side of the window you've got the camera to see her coming through. And so so you can see angle one's point of view, then angle's two points angle A I should say, angle A's point of view and then angle B's point of view and then the full sequence as it would was in the episode. Including some bits you may not have seen from the angle takes. And also in on the gate one, angle A I think was the far up one. So it would see the gate explosion and then angle B was close up right in front more of a close up, it was on the ground, and again, after that, you could see the full sequence, and you can tell in those sequences, as well as also when watching the episodes, where those angles were used. So, what I've done is done something similar to that um, for some takes of the FMP. And I did a multi act instead of putting these in the alternative, the bloopers and alternative takes and other stuff video, I put them on their own special one, the something called a multi-angle sequence video, sequences video, which I will be calling that soon. Um, these, um, just a heads up, these will be three angles, you, the same camera, but in three different places to record the scene, for two, sh for two scenes of the film, the first one is where Dan's character, Boy, smoking a piece of wood and also trying running out. So, angle one is to the side, angle two is up, and so it's to the side of the character. So, let's say, Sonic Screwdriver here is the character, and this is the camera. Chocolate's the camera. Can you see that? I hope you can. That's angle one. Then, angle two, if you're looking at it, it will be from this angle. And then camera three is down a bit, and that will be when the character runs out. The other two are for the smoking. And the second scene was with the fight scene. The first one was on... Again, if I show you this way round. Um, this would be angle one, angle two, and then angle three, scene the run, which, are the, which show the fight. And then angle three shows... Which is, this is boy fighting student 2, played by Ollie, and then angle 3 has boy running away and falling to the floor. To be honest, um, both scenes have bloopers and both, and the first one had, kind of had alternative takes. Also with the second one, second one, there was some improvisation when we did the second shot, uh, the second take of the first angle shot. So yeah, so that's some good stuff. If these, they will be getting their own special ones because I'm doing a multi-angle sequence video for them only whilst everything else gets put into the bloopers and other take and other take um, video. Okay, um, next up we have the Earth Agent series. Um, I'm hoping to start filming just month maybe, but I'm, I'm going to have to write episodes 2 and I haven't written episodes 2 and 3 yet, so I have to do that. And 1 does look like it needs a serious re-edit, script-wise, so hopefully get them filmed ready for a July release. The Death Zone, on the other hand, um, I don't know what's going to happen with that. I've got, I've got these good ideas, but I think they're a bit too amb ambitious, at least in my point, my part, and maybe also from Matt, Matthew Moore's point maybe they'll be a bit too ambitious for his bits, I don't know, maybe he'll do, he'll do, he'll do his own. Um, um, I, we're looking for an August release, uh, but just is not, probably not going to be too easy to do, this is probably going to be harder, this might even be pushed back, maybe even to next year, I'm not certain. It's going to be a big project, if we do start it. Um, Especially if it's going to be quite long, and I'm aiming for it 30 to 45 minutes special, but it could turn out to be an hour-long film. Hmm. I've got quite a few ideas, some of which would probably be possible, and some of which um, I doubt, I don't know if they could be. In 
general terms, they can, they are possible, but in Nick Payne being able to do them, well, I could do them, but I don't know if I'd get the chance or if I'd be allowed or if I can even get it to do them. I could do them, but I don't know if I could get, can get to. I don't know. It all depends on something. It could be cast and characters, it could be location, it could be timing, it could be whatever. Production problems, which I'm hopefully, which I'm going to probably going to, if I want to become a filmmaker or work in TV or something, I work in the film and TV industry, this is something I'm going to have to get used to and I kind of experienced this whilst making the effects of wood. And probably, as well as other stuff as well, I faced problems at the time. But Effects of Wood is probably my best example. Um, and for both difficulties as well as finished product. Um, yeah. Excuse me. I had all the chocolate. Just a taste left over. Um, but Earth Agent Series 1 is definitely going to come out this July or August, if late. Death Zone, um, we're hoping for this, maybe this year, if not if not August, it may be this year, uh, might be filmed or so, but I'm, I'm not certain. Um, yeah. Also, at the end of June or start of July, um, depending on the day, I will be, I will film my, hopefully get my scene for Family Bo Ollie's Family Bonding 2, Christmas Bonding, films. There might be some behind the scenes stuff that I've been, I've been told I can do that on my channel to promote the thing, as well as show um, some stuff that I, I, I feature in. So around the end of July, June, start of July, there'll be a video of behind the scenes of Family Bonding 2. Um, or, sorry, behind the scenes of Christmas Bonding, Nick Payne scene, barman scene with Nick Payne. Or something. So yeah, at the end of the month, starting next, uh, I will shoot my scene, and I should hope if I remember, I will take my camera or my picture camera that's got video on it um, to record the behind the scenes stuff um, when it's my time to do my scene. And they might they might even have someone on and the side to even film the scene from a distance, like when the people film Doctor Who scenes um, with their own cameras, as opposed to the cameras that the TV studio use, the BBC use for the actual episode. So you'll get sneak preview of the scene taking place. Excuse me. Um, as well as maybe some behind the scenes stuff, maybe some interviews, maybe just look around the set or wherever it's being filmed. Um, and I might even get a chance to be in the next uh, family bonding one. That being said, they are hoping to film a Kelton Hatch, so I might have to find a day where I can be taken down to do that. Uh, that's next year. Hopefully by then I'll be 18. So not only will I be, I be a responsible adult, I can be trusted as a re responsible adult to go down to Kelton Hatch one day um, with some guy, with friends from the, or friends of friends, to hope, shoot that scene. Um, hopefully that'll be next year though. Um, this year, we it's just down the road, probably. <sighs> yeah, so hopefully I'll be able to be in, So I'll be in Family Bonding to Christmas Bonding. Um, record my scenes soon. And I'll have some behind-the-scenes stuff for you guys for my channel. Um, hopefully, at the, era, at the end of June... Or start of July, I might just film. Heck, I might go. I might film it on, at the end of June, but depending when I get it out, could be could be early July by the time it's released. Heck, if I'm if pop, if Ollie or someone else asks, can you hold it back till the film's been released? Then the video it might have to be held back till the film's released, which is they're aiming for December, or at least late 2016. So. If, the, if they ask it to be pushed back to late slash Christmas 2016, their video might have to come back to then. Uh, push back, have to wait till then. But 
otherwise it should be end of June, early July. Is it start of July, so yeah. By that and shortly after that I'll be finding out my results of my FMP, hopefully. Um before we move on, I'm also gonna be um on the twelfth of June I will be shooting a Oh, it's, uh, for a college client, I'll be shooting the Wormley and Turnford The Big Lunch. Um, so if you live in Wormley or Turnford, Hertfordshire, that's near Broxbourne, that's near Chesant, um, in Hertfordshire, by the way. Any of you guys live there, you'll probably know about this. Or if you go to the college. Yeah, uh, or if you live nearby, but uh, The Big Lunch is kind of an event for those villages, and it's being held at the college. At Hertford Regional College, Turn Turnford slash Broxbourne campus where media department is, so that's where I go, and um, media level two has been asked to film them. Other see, creative arts industries um, students, such as the performing arts, the music, and the level three media, will also be there, but we've got our task to do, and we we'll, should be split up into teams. Hopefully we'll get more about that, as well as our, our trip the week on the following Wednesday, um, which I, w I won't talk about, um, and, um, this week, so this week we should hopefully get some more stuff on that, and, yeah, we've only got three weeks left anyway, so I, the more, the more, the, the more stuff I can do, the more stuff at the end of the month and start of next month I can do, the better. August is going to be a bit more complicated. Um, so yeah, so I I don't know if I'll be putting this this is this video is for uh, their websites for, but I don't know if I'll be allowed to put it on the YouTube. I might just have I don't know. I doubt I I doubt I will. But if it does, heads up. There's something like this coming. If not, um, if I'm not allowed, then I'm afraid it won't be able to. Um, similar to like the stranger was asked to be taken down by someone involved with it. So. Yeah, I. If I'm allowed to put this up, it'll go up around after being after it being edited sometime after the twelfth. Um, if so, that's so it'll come up when it's done. If not, then it won't come up. Um, fair and square. To be honest, um, I probably it's, pr it's probably most likely not to be, um, not to go up. But we'll see. Okay, um, moving on. Now, in the last blog update thing, I said I would do film reviews as well. Reactions, I should say. Reactions to films I've seen at the cinema. Uh, I'm afraid I haven't done those yet. I haven't had the time. But I have thought about been doing my least favourite to favourite 2015 cinema films. That I, it's films I saw at the cinema. I think there was about 13 in total. I saw, including one from 2014, but that was, it was still in the cinema in 2015. Um, similarly, um, 2016, I've seen about, uh, let me see, one, two, three. I've seen about six at the cinema this year so far. One of which was a 2014 film that was being specially shown again. Um, so that one's going to be counted. So the 2014 ones that I saw in 2015 or in 2016 will be counted as past those lists because I saw them at the cinema in those respected in the years the list is about rather than in 2014. So yeah, um, 2016 this year. I thought to maybe catch another one at the cinema this week, but I might not. Um, And then there's loads coming in July that might that are interesting and like last year I might not catch them all. Especially if they're August. Would you believe I was actually interested in seeing Pixels and Phantom Four, Four Stick last year? Well after they came out. But after coming out if, if I said that after coming out to knowing what people thought of them, it's a kind of yeah, well, I guess I suppose I Glad I didn't, but at the same time, I guess it's a bit disappointing that I didn't find out like how these guys did. Um, also, saying just, just saying that make will make people go, "What you really want to watch?" Well, yeah, what you really wanted to watch that? 
And it's like, yeah, I didn't know what it was going to be like. No one did until it, they came out. But see, typical illogical stuff. Like, someone says, uh, says after something's happened, oh, I would have liked to have gone and seen that. And they're like, but that was bad. Why would you have wanted to see that? Because I didn't know before it did. Honestly, some people. Rogue, Mission Impossible Rogue Nation, on the other hand, was probably more of a better mi met um, by audiences and critics, as was Spy, the Melissa McCarthy film. Um, those two, look, those four films looked interesting to me, with Rogue One and, sorry, not Rogue One, that's Star Wars, Rogue Nation and Spy actually coming out well. And the other two, Van Forstick and Pixels, not so well. Whoops. Um. Yeah, so, but this year, on the other hand, there's some pretty good films coming out. Excuse me. Um, this week I'm, I might go down and see Captain America Civil War, maybe? Or, I think also I'm thinking of Alice in Wonderland through the looking glass, but I'm not sure yet. Um, July, there's going to be the new Jason Bourne film. That's, I'll be watching the first three. I'll be watching number four on DVD tomorrow, hopefully. Um, been looking forward to... Is it about the first three I've already seen, so number five could be okay. It yeah, might even see number five. There'll be an animated film called The Secret Life of Pets at the end of the month. That looks funny. There's an, I thought there was another animated film that might be interesting. And I know, not Sausage Party, that I was going to, that's another, Sausage Party. Sausage Party looks interesting. But I thought it was something else I was thinking of, maybe it was. Like maybe Finding Dory? Uh, maybe that wasn't the one I was thinking of, but I think that one might be coming out as well. Or, or is that at the end of the month? Later in the year. Super Squad Squad? Yeah, that looks good. I might try and, might try and catch that one. Um, that The next DC Universe film. Um, and else the there's quite a few open options. Um, I can't remember all the other ones. I think there was another animated movie that was coming out that for kids that might be like, but I'm not certain, I doubt, don't think so. Let's see, Jason Bourne, Super Squad Squad, Party Party, what was the era? I haven't really caught up, read all the summer movies yet. It's been, I'm more focused on the ones that's out right now. Um, yeah, and I'm hopefully be able to see, I'm hoping to see Captain America Civil War, maybe this week or maybe next week, I don't know. No, maybe not next week, maybe this week. Um, might go down this week. We'll see. Okay. So I might. So my least favorite to favorite twenty fifteen movies. I might do that. Hopefully at some point. And then the twenty sixteen one would hopefully be next year if I do it. Re film reactions. I might just do my a list of thoughts on them. Um. Maybe just list of thoughts, or maybe just talk about it in the video in the actual things. For 2016 one I might do the, I might do a few minutes of talking on each film uh, before the 2016 list is done. Um, yeah. So if anyone's been wondering about that, that's what's happened. Okay, moving on to audios. Starting with the Ultimate Doctor Audio Adventures, which are my narrated audiobooks that were originally monthly and were supposed to have started in January but then pushed back to February with the first episode, and was supposed to be monthly audio adventures. This, event, this has been abandoned. Uh, the monthly audio was about similar to Big Finishes once, but yeah, this has been abandoned. Uh, many of the episodes have been part moved. Uh, I'm planning a, a story that was planned for April. Um, I'm planning it to be a two-parter at some point. I might even make it partly cast. I might even get some casting if I'm lucky. Um, but I'm not sure when the Ultimate Doctor's audio adventures are coming back. This two-parter is planned, but I haven't written it. And what, I'm actually going to write this one this time, hopefully, as opposed to the other ones which are just made up on the spot. Uh, the first one wasn't too bad, but the other three were quite. It was about five minutes, but the other three were between ten and six, ten and. 35, the, 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 the last one was 32 minutes, and god, it was, it was hard to edit, with all my ums, 
breath, drinks, etc. This is going to be hard to wait as well. Because this is a little long. With all the stuff that, yeah, 32 minutes. God's, oh my gosh. This, the, another reason why that the next story is going to be a two-parter is that so it doesn't get too long. Um, so it's going to be more of a two-parter, but it kind of more fits like a two. The story itself does feel like a two-part story. We'll need two episodes to continue have the story. Sticking with audio adventures, the Black Archives from Universals. Okay, before we do that, we have to talk about Universal first. Oh, blimey, this is going to be hard. At the end of February 2016, something happened, kind of damaged the channel. First of all, the, some of the videos were, had their audio replaced or removed completely. Probably cute copyrights or something, I don't know, but it hadn't been done before and or since when the re really re uploads. Apart from when we tried re uploading those one on the channel. Then, the channel was hacked. Hacked. Damn it, the channel was hacked. Damn it, the channel was hacked. Thankfully, I kind of brought in the main other one, which is now Universal's Universals, and Matt's made another one, which has had no. and they've both had little. Stuff that added on. There's two videos that are going to be they're on private on Hooniversals, Hooniversals, which are going to be unprivated when their actual videos are released on Hooniversals. And there's and the same same videos are also private on my channel as well. Um, and they're going to be private until the other videos are uploaded. One of which I had asked Matt to put back up, and he said he'll do them. It was a few weeks ago, and he said he'll do them the week after. It's been a few weeks since then. Nothing's happened. The original, it's, this is the reintroduction, a new introduction I made, and um, the original one's still up. I might even have that re put up here after the new one's been re put up. But, yeah, old one's really boring, by the way. Really bad. New one's a bit better, thank goodness. But that and the canine review are not up. That, none of the original videos, apart from the first four, the four introductions. And um, we will hope to get a fifth member. I don't know if we still have a fifth member by now. Still around because of all this. Heck, I don't even know if this channel is even going to survive 20 flipping 16. Because of all this. So, hacker and YouTube stuff. You have ruined Universals for life. The only way we can recover it. Of course, Matt isn't putting new stuff out. And we haven't we haven't been making new stuff. Man, put the stuff we made back up. I was going to be doing my... If it's Lantern review around this time, um, just about last week I would have done it. Um, but because to celebrate 10 years of being a Doctor Who fan, but because of the flipping hacks and the flipping the flipping stuff that's happened, stuff. I will say though, one good thing about this is that I got to make an even better canine. That I got to remake my canine company review, um, and I got to, I made it a bit better. The first one was pretty. Bad. It wasn't bad as the, the first introduction, but it'd probably be pretty bad again. And I didn't even bother editing it because I knew it was so good. But when it came, but around the time after doing my re, re recording my introduction, I did a better Canine and Company review that I'm sure you'll actually like when we get it up. Uh, at the end, I put Dark Sea Mortal Enemies, which I probably have to make next. Because that was at the end of that one, unless I delete the scene um, before we go up. But now everything's been going back. I had some stuff planned. This is not including the class reviews. We had stuff planned. For, me and Matt had our videos pretty much planned out. Apart from when we do class reviews. Whenever they come. Whenever the class comes. We might record those and put those up. I'm not sure. I have to get that sorted. Thankfully that's a while away. So, yeah, sorry if you can hear any background noise. Um, yeah, so, channels has been flipping harmed. The second channel has been more of other stuff, such as the trailers and things. Some of the earlier stuff that was released before, as well as stuff like bloopers or trailers or anything. Anything that isn't really necessary for the main channel is going to go on the um, second channel that I made. Um, so, so, stuff like the bloopers, for example. Or, um, yeah, or a deleted scene, even. So, 
up the bloopers for the in second introduction and for well, actually it was the third introduction, the second one I didn't use. I, I get the first one I didn't the second one was the one that went up. The first one was the one I did it was like the first Canine Company one. But yeah, the third introduction bloopers and the second Canine and Company review bloopers will just remain private on both Universal's Universals and Nick Payne Nicholas Payne's Nicholas Payne whilst they are uh, whilst Universal's does not have the videos up. Also apparently I've got another channel called Nick Payne that was temp used as a temporary one and it's got one of the title sequences that was private on the original channel is on there. Enough with the banging. We think next door to a lot of banging doors. Banging the doors. So yeah. Um speak and whilst we're on the subject, the Black Archives we were hoping to start around late February or early March. But I, I don't know if this is because of the hack or any the problems with the channel, but nope, nothing's happened. Matt has made the first episode, he's done the audio, I think he did about October-ish. Um, but the audio sounded pretty bad. The script was great, I could actually understand and enjoy the script when I read it in December along with the other five scripts for uh, Well Spoken Wave 1. But the audio was pretty bad, I couldn't really understand what was going on. I won't spoil anything because, well, duh! But from, um, I was, I'll just say that the audio was pretty bad at the time, but he said he was cleaning it up. And he'll clean it up. Uh, the scripts were brilliant, so if when we have proper good, when we have good audio, we should have a good story. What was that? When we have proper audio, when the audio's been cleaned up, we should have a good and enjoyable story. And the same with the other five episodes of the wave. Um, following this wave will be my, should be my Attack of the Shop Window Dummies. A fantastic special. Ooh, it's, that's twice it's been revealed for ages. Um, I've recorded my lines for five characters. For that story, including the Doctor, and two stories for the multi Doctor story that comes to that comes after the Ladies Man Doctor story. Afterwards, we then get a multi Doctor special. I play two characters, including the Doctor, one of the Doc, one of the four Doctors. Um, this story introduces the fourth Doctor in our wave, and we've got about six or s about five or six planned. But numbers five and six will come in later. Is it careful if we're lucky? Is it fine? Yeah, careful and final will come a bit later. Um, into the way final definitely comes in really, really late if we get someone praying we hope we get going. Not for diversity, and also final, will, a girl probably would suit the final doctor better. The best. Careful was originally thought of a girl in mind, but it might have to be a guy, whilst final is, we're going to hope we get a girl for that one. Because final, I think we're going to send, make sure. We're going to make sure because final. I finally got the final. And if you think of the person and you make a character to suit that actor or actress to play the role, that. Well, we're hoping. We're saying. The girl to play final because we're making final. Um. Oh, forget it. It is too tricky. The simple words I forget because I am too old. 17. Is 17 too old? Yeah. You get little stuff like that. It's all going up. Oh, uh, we'll cut that bit. So yeah, um, but where are the black archives? They haven't been. They haven't come yet. I have no idea what's happened to them. I, I want to know what's happened to them as well. I've recorded my lines for the two sto the two fair, the first two stories I'm in. I, I might also do a line for another story. Actually, I just have to be asked. I have to be asked which which one I which so what I have to be told what which one I am. Well, I know which one one of a group. Uh, it's an alien race, um, but I have to be told, told which lines of spoken by these aliens um, to record if to do them. Um, if that's a problem, uh, I might have to ask about that later. And send them off, even if their audio doesn't come anytime soon. I do hope it will come out before the end of the year. I am hoping. 
Uh, it was due for February or March, but obviously not. This may have been part because of the hack and the period of darkness which was still stuck in um, on the channel. But um, the audios could still come out whenever they damn well pleased. Um, then again, so the videos, to be honest. Um, nothing's happened. Channels have just gone dormant for some reason. I don't know if this is because Matt's given up or because there's no... There's also another reason he doesn't want to put them up. He did say about the other video, the reintroduction, maybe because of school stuff he has. Um, but still, we probably did pretty well before the hack. If the hack, maybe we just lost... Maybe the other guys have just lost some heart and, to them, and spirit. But I, I'm not giving up on this bloody channel. I'm not giving up. I might have, but I don't know what to do about it. So I'm, I'll, we'll hopefully get sorted. Hopefully, this is only, it's only June, so we'll hopefully it'll be about four, three, three months since the hack at the end of the month. So maybe we'll get it back. We were to hopefully to restart again at the end of last month. Uh, started this one, um, but uh, we might be able to get it back by the end of the month. I don't, I don't know. Oh, enough of the blank in the doors. So, yeah, Black Archives, no idea what's going to happen to them. Universals is damn dormant, may not even come out of its shadow. Ultimate Doctor Audio Adventures, temporary hiatus, hopefully not permanent. Um, possible Ultimate Doctor TV Adventures, ooh, planned. But uncertain, similar to Death Zone, got to the Death Zone. Has too many good ambitious, but amb ambitious, but yet yeah, could still possible ideas that may not be done within a, a two month period. And then even have to be scheduled to next year instead. Earth Agent Series 1, this is starting to go so unlikely as well, but this is the one that's probably going to be the most likely to be coming out for soon. And um, this will be, uh, hopefully July, but hopefully, please fingers crossed, maybe early August. Um, yeah, and also there's um, something called, there's also going to be an Earth Agents spin-off series called Spybound, being created by Matt, um, that he says he's start filming around this month for a late 2016 release. Whether this is going to stay on time, as everything else has been planned to, but hasn't, is uncertain. He might not film this month. It might be next month. Like I said, I haven't got I haven't got my scripts sort re sorted yet, so I might not start too soon. Yet, even though June was the time to start filming or finishing up everything, writing the scripts and filming, so I can get it ready for July, or early August at latest. No, no, no. Classy. So, uh, but Spybound, look out for that when that comes around. Um, should be at the end of the, later in the year. Um, and, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, it's pretty much it, so in short, um, effects of Woods bonus materials. If you if you had a DVD, for example, um, bloopers and uh, alternative ang and alternative angle, uh, multi-angle takes. Well, these would be extras. So you get you could have. So yeah, those those are coming. I've just done this. So this is probably going to probably come out first. Before this will probably come out before this video. Sorry, the unboxing will come out before the um, update and so blog. Which means which PS more pe people have actually asked for more of these. Um, the 50th subscriber video, just like I said, vote. Uh, sorry, put your idea or suggestion down in the comments or on the discussion page below or on the discussion page. 
Um, and what else? That was it. Then we went on to talk about future stuff as well as stuff that's been. Is it stuff? From Earth agents. Hopefully coming soon. Hopefully get the script re sort out. Sort out part one script. Do part sorry episode one and then episodes two and three. Start filming soon. Hope. Hopefully get ready for July and August, or August. Death Zone, praying for August, uh, looking for all, hoping for August at latest. I might even do the end of um, But I do not expect too much for the Death Zone to come too soon. Um, Ultimate Doctor Audio Adventures are currently on hiatus. And the spin and the series not as likely to be happening. Um, Black Archives, I have no idea what's going on with those. Universals, I don't know what's going to happen to that. Um, really hoping it comes back soon. Start again. I will do the. I will try and do a Dalek video on after the Canine Company one comes out. And depending on what happens next, it could be the it is Anderson review. It could be a whatever happens to Susan review such analysis. Which actually, because it's because uh, that is after the Canine Company review one. That is probably my primary video. That was probably my primary aim of this of this year for Universals. Get that video. Do that video. Do that video. That was my primary one after Canine and Company, um, and the introduction. Um, and I, even if I don't do that one for Universals, I will probably do it for my channel at some point in the year, uh, because that one's quite important. Um, to, I want to do that one. Even if not for Universals, let's just do it for fun. Let's just do it because I can, and I want to, and I might explain all this. Um, the other, yeah, the other thing that would have come would have been something on John Devaney's music from the TV movie, uh, uh, as well as John Spolsters and Lewis Fiber, Lewis Fibers, and then there'll be something on the Christmas specials, depending on which class reviews and when the class reviews will come. Class will be coming out. When the class would come and which review episodes we'd be reviewing. We were hoping for five, mem five members, but we might just be stuck on four. Unless we can get a fifth member on board. So, um, yeah, I think that's all for now. Um, oh, and film um, reactions. I might do some at some point and then do the list for 2016. 2015, I will hopefully do a list for as well. Um, uh, yeah, I think that's it now. Thank you guys for watching this, I expect to be really, really long, but probably also a bit edited, unlike the, uh, the first one, which was just one long take, but with less, less mess-ups. Excuse me, I had some spare time then. But yeah, this time, it's probably going to be edited, because quite a few mess-ups here, and it's probably going to be, but even with the edited up a bit, it's probably really, really, really long, and I'm wasting my time just saying that. So, yeah, I thank you guys for listening, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, um, now, and if this has been, if the unboxing review has come out before this video has, then the next one will probably be the, um, the effects of wood, the bloopers, and other shot take, other takes, or, uh, other take video. Or the alternative angle shot video. Um, oh, and Tim for the Wormley. Is it one? Or oh, the other way around. The Big Lunch. And that's a. That one's a. Qu possible but uncertain. And Family Bonding, Christmas Bonding, uh, which will be at the end of the year, I will get some behind the scenes look, hopefully, or at least for my bit. Uh, maybe a video log, a vlog style, could be my n number, blog slash update, hashtag free, um, family bonding behind the scenes, uh, bartend, family bond, sorry, Christmas bonding, bartender, be behind, uh, bartender scene, behind the, behind the scenes, bartender scene. Goodness, okay, I'm sure it will sound better on, when I write, d d put the video up, I will pro uh, he'll probably have a better title. Anyway, thank you guys for listening, and I'll see you guys next time. Damn it! Gotcha!
Uh, maybe they're just very rare. Yeah, I think that on the other Sonics as well, there's one with the 11th Doctor Sonic that sometimes does that. The 11th and 12th one, and maybe also the 10th one. So yeah. Oh. Yeah, the, the thing is, if you wanted four, if you wanted four buttons, why didn't... I'm not sure how you could have made four buttons with this design, but... Make it easier, I suppose? Maybe have some buttons on the side.